Hey everybody, Confound it here. Um, just wanted to talk for a couple minutes about uh, where we're going with the rest of our series. Um, I left off with sourcing assets where you could find all kinds of cool images and uh, music and all kinds of other fun stuff for um, your videos. A couple of things that, um, well one of them I forgot, the second one I just didn't really have a solution for at the time and it wasn't really time to even talk about it, was um, photo editing software. What we're looking at here is Photoshop and it is a whopping six hundred and ninety nine dollars so let's go ahead and get that off our screen let's just not even worry about that I mean I use Photoshop myself but I own it and I paid for um, that and everything else so let's just uh, just forget about Photoshop until you have the money for it the second one was fonts glorious fonts and I found over the years that uh, 1001 fonts is always the place to go um, nine times out of ten I find what I'm looking for and let me get back to the front page here they have this cool little button right here you click it free for commercial use and then that way you're uh, in the clear you know you go through and um, make sure they don't they don't say you can't use it in a video or anything you just to be on the safe side but you know 99.9% .9 of the time if they're giving it away free for commercial use you can use it wherever you want to so um, yeah that's that and you know I changed this from their um, default, I uh, think the quick brown fox, no, they give you the name of it, whatever. Right in here you can type out, you know, your name or whatever you want your text to look like. Give it a second, it'll update, and then uh, let's say you want something a little comical. Click on comic. How about that? And um, yeah, that's that. But um, let's get back to the uh, image editing program. Well, so, Well, it's not it's a web-based application anyway I just want to give you a really quick um, run through of how this works because when we get into how to make an intro which is coming very soon hopefully shortly after this video within a day but probably within a few hours so um, I just want to show you how to use this really quick um, what I'm doing now is I'm setting my image dimensions and they're 1920 by 1080 because I capture in 1080p and I upload in 1080p so I want to go with a width of 1920, that's 1920 pixels across, and 1080 pixels high. So you go width by height, always in that order, W by H, width by height, 1920 by 1080. And if you're doing um, 720, it would be 1280 by 720. So um, yeah, there we go. And I like working on transparent backgrounds, so I click transparent, and I'm going to click OK. All right, now with this, I'm just going to walk you around the um, interface real quick. Oh, by the way, I recommend you go ahead and um, sign up for the account. It'll say sign in because that lets you uh, save stuff in your library and um, save works in progress and everything else. And, you know, I haven't gotten a single email from, from them yet. So um, I'm pretty sure I gave them the right email address. But anyway, yeah, that's great. I, I really enjoy not being spammed. Anyhow, um, as always I want to keep this under 15 minutes so I'm just going to uh, go right on through here right here you've got the um, the crop tool if I had an image open we could um, crop something out you know what? let me open up something real quick and I've got stock exchange opened up right over here and it's just a uh, a silhouette and all I did was I copied the URL and um, I'm gonna go to file open image URL control V okay progress uh oh well, bubbles was false how about that we're gonna try again open image URL paste okay there we go and yeah it's just a um, little silhouette and I chose a silhouette because it's easy to get off of the white background but we'll get into that when we get into a uh, making an intro so here we've got the crop tool let's say I just want this part it's kind of a lousy crop but it is just an example and then I'm gonna hit enter and then we've got it cropped out. I'm going to hit Control Z so we can get back to the regular thing. Then i um, got the Move tool. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, let's say I've got that. I'm going to make another layer. Control Copy. Uh, I'm not going to install Java. So. Let's try this way. Edit, Copy. V. All right, now we can get back to the move tool. And all I did there was I made a marquee selection, 
with the marquee around that copied it and pasted it on a, a new layer don't need that so I'm gonna get rid of it all right and you just saw me a little bit with this you've got the marquee you've got square and round you can constrain it to an aspect ratio which would be square or you can set in a fixed size for it um, feathering uh, we'll get into that later um, then we have the magic wand tool remember I was just telling you about um, about uh, making easier selections okay so right up here you have a tolerance um, Photoshop's default is 32 so I like to start there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the solid color that I want oh, let me click on the background layer and there I have that and then I'm just going to hit control J and that should have given me just her let me see if I can Oh, it didn't. Let me stick a solid color in there. Control D to deselect. I'm just going to get the gradient because it was already there. No, nope, it didn't give me her. So let me just say, let me select her with the wand tool. And I'm using keyboard shortcuts. We'll go into all of those when we uh, get there. And I'm going to go to image and I'm going to invert the selection. And then I'll delete that. So there we go. And that was uh, fairly simple to do. Pencil tool, I never ever use it, but we just might. You can come in here and uh, play with it a little bit if you want to. Brush, there's all kinds of brush options if you come up here and click on the brushes. Everything else, there's even a create brush. I've only been messing with this for like maybe three hours today, so I didn't get into creating brushes and everything else. But um, yeah, let's go with some stars. All right, we got some stars there. And I always like to work on a clean layer. That way if I make a huge mistake, I can just trash that layer. Make a new one and start over. Then we have the eraser tool. And it erases. Let me get on where she's at. See, it erased her. Um, I rarely ever use the eraser tool. Um, let me come back down there. Click on that. Pick a new color. Red. Okay, now we're in the paint bucket. Paint bucket, I'm on an empty layer and I'm just going to fill that with red and you already saw me use the gradient tool I'm not going to get into the clone stamp or the color replace or the drawing tools just yet um, the blurs I'll show you a better way to blur and sharpen smudging um, that'll be a little bit later on dodging and burning um, we'll go with dodging right now and what that does is it allows me to um, add light to areas areas that are dark I want to go ahead and select a fairly large brush here and you know what I'm gonna make a selection of her and all I did was control click on the thumbnail to do that that way I don't um get it anywhere else alright so I've got a fairly I just want to come along the edge not real sure mid-tones Let me try working on shadows. There we go. And the exposure is really high on that. And all I'm doing when you see that disappear is uh, hitting Control Z, which is undo. Lower the exposure. Then we can come in and get just a, a little bit lighter. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do that with the uh, <clears throat> with the dodge tool and the burn tool. Think of burnt toast. It just burns in whatever you're painting on. Um, this is the red eye removal tool. You can go in there and, well, remove red eyes with it. Um, but hopefully you don't have any red eyes that you're going to be using for your intro anyway. Spot heal tool, that's something else I'll have to show you later. Um, bloat tool, makes stuff bigger. See? And this is the pucker tool, pull stuff in. You can be, be used um, for all kinds of stuff. Okay, then we have the color picker. Um, no, I couldn't take that off screen, but you can see I could pick on a choose a color and it'll uh, pick up that color. Let's get back down here to this gradient. So you can pick any shade of this gray all the way to black. And no, it's not 50 shades of gray, 256, 55. 
anyway uh, text tool this is where our fonts will come in one thing I noticed with this was I couldn't go above size 130 but I'm going to uh, show you how to get around that go ahead and pick a color quick little red yeah let's go yellow nice little mustard yellow and we'll just say confound it and then I'm going to um, come down here and pick a font should have picked the font first but you know sometimes it's just how it goes and there we go confound it and the hand tool just kinda lets me move a move around there but um, let me take it to a hundred percent tore up her leg didn't I? but hand tool just lets me uh, click and drag and move the whole thing around and remember the mark, or not the marquee, but the selection tool would let me move certain things around. And then we have um, the magnifying glass. It takes us to 25. And we just marquee what we want to zoom in on. And there we go. And this down here is our color well, color picker, um, color palette, palette. It should be called a palette because you can hold looks like six, maybe seven colors there. And that is the tools. Then over here we have our navigator window which we can't make any bigger but whatever this way we can um, you know get around our image kind of a little bit faster without zooming in and zooming out we can uh, go very far in and then drag our little uh, preview window around inside of the navigator palette to get around there then we have our layer palette you saw me working with that just a little bit and this um well houses our layers let me go ahead and select her layer and um here we can set blend modes and everything else. I'll go into further detail with those when we're into uh, making an intro and everything else. Um, layer masks. I'm not really set up to use a layer mask at the um, present time, so I'll show you those in a little while also. But we can um, toss on a couple little layer styles here. How about we give her a little outer glow? Click on it, set it. Um, white. That was off screen. Let me drag that back over there size you'll probably be able to see it down here in the bottom give her a drop shadow and an inner glow as well yeah you can see it now let me um go back over here and drag us down and that looks awful but obviously i'm not trying to make a masterpiece here with this so um that's that and then we have the new layer icon or button whichever you prefer and all that does is give us a new empty layer then we have our trash can where we can clean up after ourselves and we can also highlight and no we can't so we have to drag it to the trash can but that's okay it's free I'm not complaining so yeah there we go um, let me move that above here I'll show you the blending modes real quick so we've got that and it's on top of red background so I'm going to set it to multiply and multiply is going to drop out all the whites so ooh, I zoomed way in there didn't I And on the flip side of that, we can switch it to screen, and it's going to drop out all of the uh, the darker colors. See, there we are. All right, that is um, this in a nutshell. It's Pixlr.com, and um, yeah, I'm really excited to get on the road with this. Uh, Tag on um, making an intro, man. I got some good stuff coming for y'all. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get everything done in 15 minutes because I'm going to take two different approaches that y'all can kind of hybridize and come up with some really great results. I'm excited to see what y'all do. Um, you know, as always, if this helped you out any, please comment, like, subscribe, send me your questions. I'll do everything I can to help you out uh, that I possibly can. So uh, thanks. Y'all have a great day, and um, I can't wait to see what y'all come up with. Talk to you in a little bit.